say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs burned In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Almighty God and Father of us all, we pray for everyone gathered today as we celebrate the young men and women who are members of the class of 2020. We pray for their parents, guardians, and families. We pray for administrators, teachers, and school staffs who have dedicated themselves to our graduates' success. We pray for all those affected by illness, especially by the coronavirus, which is affecting so many throughout the world. 
We pray for nurses, medical providers, and caregivers. We especially remember loved ones who have been called home to the Lord and pray that they experience comfort and peace. We ask you to bless this class of 2020. Walk with them as they continue their journey of faith and of life. Help them to use wisely and generously the gifts and talents you have given them so that they may share those gifts with others and by doing so, make this world a better place and one day come to your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. John Cook, and I have the honor, privilege, and pleasure of serving as president of Monsignor Bonner and Archbishop Prendergast Catholic High School. On behalf of our principal, Mr. Jim Strandberg, and our presider, Archbishop Nelson Perez, the Archbishop of Philadelphia, Bishop Michael Fitzgerald, the Auxiliary Bishop for Catholic Education at the Archdiocese of Philadelphia, and our entire faculty, staff, and administration, welcome parents, families, and friends to this very special day for the commencement of Bonner and Prenti Catholic High School, the class of 2020. Although this is a unique format we will be presenting our commencement ceremony this year, it is a very important right that ultimately concludes your time at Bonner and Prenti and begins the next chapter of your life. So with that, it is also my pleasure to welcome and extend collectively a very good morning to the class of 2020. And I officially declare this ceremony open. It is now my pleasure to invite Ms. Andrea Fitty, our Assistant Principal for Academic Affairs, to the podium. The young woman who has earned the title of salutatorian this year is a member of St. Eugene Parish. She works hard in the classroom and in the pool and has served in leadership positions for many events at Bonner and Prendy, such as Feed My Starving Children and Dance for a Cause. She also serves as an officer for the National Honor Society and is president of the High Q team. She has been recognized by the Delaware County Chapter of the Pennsylvania Sports Hall of Fame as student athlete for her four years of success on the swim team, for which she is the captain. During her senior year, she was an archdiocesan academic scholar at Villanova University, where she has chosen to continue her studies in the fall as the Gibson Family Scholarship recipient. It is my pleasure to introduce the salutatorian for the class of 2020, Claire McBlain. Welcome Archbishop Perez, Bishop Fitzgerald, Dr. Cook, Mr. Stramberg, administration, teachers, staff, parents, family, friends, and my classmates, the class of 2020. We have come together today to celebrate the accomplishments of this class and to honor every graduate who has built the legacy that this class now shares. As members of the class of 2020, we enjoy a unique bond that has united us throughout the good and bad times of the past four years. It is devastating that we cannot be gathered together in person to display our proud brotherhood and sisterhood, but we are a part of a strong community that has supported us with hope and faith. Throughout the many challenges in life, there will always be a lesson to be learned or a memory to be made because life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning how to dance in the rain. Everything we have learned at Bonner Prendy has prepared us to weather the storm. And as graduates, we have to keep the faith and look to the sunny days ahead. Our campus minister, Mr. Barr, presented a song to the girls on senior retreat entitled Seasons, which emphasized that there will always be seasons in our life that will test our faith but with patience and grace, we can see the silver lining and path to success. When we look back, we will not remember our time at Bonner and Prendy as a singular storm. We'll remember seasons of change and growth. As incoming freshmen, we never could have known how much our lives would change just from the people we would meet, the sports we would play, or the classes we would share. We learn to be there for each other throughout hardships and success. Of course, some things never change. Seasons come and go, but there will always be special people in our lives that have helped us thrive. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to thank every administrator, teacher, parent, 
staff member, coach, or friend who has made an impact in the lives of these young men and women. The relationships that we have built will be the one constant in a world full of change and uncertainty. Although our time at Bonner Prendy is coming to an end, it has only been one of many promising seasons to come. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Before his conversion, St. Augustine lived a loose life, which included parties, worldly ambitions, and many other vices. Although he was brought up Christian and considered to be one of the most intelligent men of his time, his sins of impurity and pride darkened his mind so much that he could not see or understand the divine truth anymore. However, through the inspirations of St. Ambrose's teachings, he was led in a deep prayer and changed his ways. Augustine then became a priest, bishop, and a noteworthy Catholic writer. He became very devout and charitable and practiced a life of poverty. St. Augustine also founded an order, order of priests, which today is known as the Augustinian Order, the founding order of Monsignor Bonner Catholic High School for Boys. In 1987, to commemorate the closing of the special 1600 centenary year of the conversion of St. Augustine, the Monsignor Bonner Theology Department initiated a special award known as the St. Augustine Medal. The purpose of this medal is to recognize a graduating senior boy and a Bonner alumnus who exemplifies the Christian way of life in today's world, reflecting the commitment which St. Augustine made of his life to Christ in the fourth and fifth century. This year, because of the current situation, we will only be recognizing a senior boy with dishonor whose name will join past participants or past recipients on a plaque in our main hallway of the school. A few weeks ago, our students were asked to nominate one of their classmates to receive the St. Augustine Medal. Specifically, they were asked to identify a Christian gentleman classmate who exemplified the life of St. Augustine and role modeled the Christian ideals that were such an important part of his life. The students were asked to identify a senior classmate who is family-centric, considerate of others, and exemplifies the teachings of Jesus Christ in word and deed. In describing this year's St. Augustine Award recipient, one nominator stated, he's always in a good mood and looking to help others out. He has a genuine love for BMP and always looks out for others first. He genuinely represents good character to reflect St. Augustine. He's very dedicated to his faith and is not afraid to share it with those around him. He will effectively, effectively defend Christian values when they are under attack. He strives to live the Ten Commandments in his daily life, writes another student. Other statements from classmates include, he stands up for his beliefs no matter what. Nothing anyone says or does can stand in the way of what he believes in. He practices his Catholic faith and stays true to it more than any other senior boy in our school. This individual also always shows his Christianity in actions and values. He brings people to Christ. Another classmate of this individual since, uh, since grade school noted that this person has a light to him that shines brighter than others. I am confident he will be able to achieve his dreams because of the person he is. I personally have known this person since my first few weeks at Bonner and Prenti almost four years ago when he was a freshman. I've had the opportunity to watch this individual learn, develop, and grow. He's a true gentleman, always greeting you with a big smile and a firm, very firm handshake. This person is also a very well-rounded individual who has truly taken the opportunities presented to him. He's intelligent, charismatic, and a great athlete, and very committed to his faith. It is now my honor, privilege, and pleasure to introduce our student recipient at the St. Augustine Medal for 2020 and bestow this honor to Mr. Chickalese Adele, also known as Chile, who will attend Syracuse University next year. St. Catherine Drexel was born into a prominent Philadelphia family in 1858 and once walked the very grounds of our school campus. She took an avid interest in working with the spiritual well-being of Native Americans as well as African Americans. At the age of 33, until her death in 1955, she dedicated her life and fortune of $20 million to that work. In that time, she founded the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament, whose members worked for the betterment of those that they were called to serve. St. Catherine Drexel also opened the first mission school for Native Americans in New Mexico, and many schools filed throughout the southern and southwestern part of the United States. She also founded Xavier University in New Orleans, a school with the distinction of being the only historically black Roman Catholic institution of higher education. On October 1st, 2000, because of her lifelong dedication to her faith and her selfless service to the oppressed, 
Catherine Drexel became only the second American born canonized saint by Pope John Paul II. The purpose of this special award is to recognize and honor the commitment of the individual recipients who exemplify a Christian way of life in today's world, paralleling the work and life of St. Catherine Drexel in serving others and as a role model with a Christ-like life. The St. Catherine Drexel Medal Award is presented annually to a graduating senior as well as to an apprentice alumni. This year, because of the circumstances, we will we'll only be recognizing a senior girl with the honor whose name will join past participants on a plaque in our school's main hallway. Similar to the St. Augustine medal process, a few weeks ago, our female senior students were asked to nominate one of their classmates to receive the St. Catherine Drexel Medal Award. Specifically, they were asked to identify a senior female classmate who exemplifies the life of St. Catherine Drexel and role models the Christian ideals that were such an important part of St. Catherine Drexel's life. Classmates describe this individual as someone who is the kindest person I know and generous, devout and determined, and extremely dedicated to her faith. The recipient has also been described as someone who is dedicated to the Christian way of life, and this can be seen by her active role in ministry at school and at her church. Another classmate continues, she's the kindest, sweetest person I've ever met, and she's always willing to give what she has to help other people. She follows the Christian ideals by attending Mass every weekend and actively participates in different activities at her church as well. One nominator pointedly stated that this person is honestly the closest person I know to a saint. She's a devout Catholic who is always involved in every community service project on campus. She offers her prayers to everyone who needs it and dedicates her time to help as many people as possible. She puts herself above others and is always willing to help out when needed. These statements are no exaggeration of this recipient, stated that classmate. Another fellow classmate who has known the recipient since freshman year stated, from the start, she's always extremely nice to me and made me feel so welcome. As I got to know her from the, my freshman year on, I realized how amazing she really is. She's so rooted and strong in her faith, which is something I wish I could do. She's so involved in everything in and out of school. You can't go to an event without seeing her. Her overall amazing personality, her connection to her faith, and her involvement in the community are the reasons why I'm nominating this individual. She's one of the kindest people I know who has a deep connection with her faith, says another student. She always does the right thing and is someone I look up to as a role model for how to live as a Catholic. This person is not just very active in her spiritual and life of service at Bonner Prenny but she's also extremely involved back at her home parish of St. Lawrence as an altar server and volunteering for many parish activities. Always with a big smile on her face and a genuine role model to many, as we heard in the statements, it is my honor and privilege and pleasure to now introduce our student recipient of the St. Catherine Drexel Medal Award to Miss Julia Cavalier, who will be attending Westchester University next year. And now it is my pleasure to introduce to you the 14th Bishop of Philadelphia and the 10th Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Philadelphia, Archbishop Nelson J. Perez. Dear graduates, it fills me with great joy to take part in today's celebration, which marks a milestone in your academic career and a passage from one stage of life to another. For nearly three centuries, Catholic education has been a vital component of our local church. Through our Catholic schools, countless children and young people have been formed as young men and women of character, as leaders poised to succeed through service to others in their local and global communities. The Catholic education you received is a gift that will bear fruit for the remainder of your lives. That gift, was made possible because your families made the choice to give you a Catholic education and sacrificed to provide it. I ask that you join me in expressing sincere gratitude to them. Likewise, we thank your teachers, administrators, counselors, and coaches. They made the choice to serve in a Catholic school as their vocation and have dedicated themselves tirelessly to your academic, spiritual, athletic, and social development. As Catholic school graduates, you have a strong foundation to achieve great things. We are all proud of what you have accomplished thus far. 
we are also watching eagerly to witness how you will shape the future by living out a life of Christian virtue in a complex and rapidly changing world. You give all of us reason for great hope that the future will be a bright one. Today's graduation is much different than what anyone imagined at the beginning of the school year. I know that the pandemic we face has created quite a few challenges for you, your families and all those responsible for your education. Much has been asked of you and you have been asked to make many sacrifices for the good of public health. You have faced the challenge with faith and fortitude and I am proud to bear witness to the strength you have demonstrated. Together as a family united in Christ, we will continue to navigate these difficult waters. We know that they will come and this too shall pass for we are a people of hope. As you prepare to embark on the next phase of life's journey, take time to reflect on the following words from Pope Francis. In speaking to a gathering of young people, our Holy Father said, why do I like being with young people? because you have the promise of hope in your heart. You are bearers of hope. It is true that you live in the present, but you are looking towards the future. You are architects of the future, artisans of the future. It is a beautiful thing to walk towards the future with dreams and with many beautiful things. And it is also your responsibility. Become artisans of the future. Have courage, go forward and make noise. Where there are young people, so there should be noise. Go ahead. So members of the class of 2020, in closing, I echo the sentiments of Pope Francis. Have courage, go forward, be bearers of hope, make noise, and make a better and brighter world. In the name of the people of the Archdiocese, I extend my prayerful congratulations and best wishes on your graduation. May God bless you and your loved ones abundantly, and may he protect and guide you always. Our valedictorian comes to us from St. Bernadette Parish as a McGuire and St. James Alumni Association Scholarship recipient. As president of the National Honor Society and co-vice president of Events for Community Service Club, she has been very involved in helping her school community during her time at Bonner and Prendy. In addition to these roles, she has shown leadership in events such as Feed My Starving Children and Dance for a Cause. Athletically, she has been a member of the volleyball team for four years and served as varsity captain this past season. She is an archdiocesan academic scholar. In the fall, she will be attending Widener University as a recipient of the Widener Presidential and Widener Pride Scholarship. It is my pleasure to introduce the valedictorian for the class of 2020, Alexis Picone. Good morning, Archbishop Perez, Bishop Fitzgerald, Dr. Cook, Mr. Schramberg, administration, faculty, friends, family, and of course, the class of 2020. Today is the day that we have been waiting four years to experience. And although we are not celebrating it the way we all envisioned, gathering together with family and friends, it is important to recognize our great accomplishment. We have persevered through all the obstacles in our paths and have worked hard to get to this moment. In November, the seniors were asked to send in a senior quote for the yearbook. Unsurprisingly, I forgot about it until the night before it was due. I took to Google and began to scroll through numerous quotes, dismissing the ones that I did not like and keeping the ones that I did. I eventually came across one from Dr. Seuss that read, Sometimes you never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. At the time, I thought I understood the message of the quote and figured that it fit in well with the theme of senior year coming to an end. However, the quote's meaning had not truly resonated with me until now. Freshman year, September 2016, we walked the halls of Bonner and Prendy for the first time. Many of us came into the school only knowing a few people, or maybe none at all. Everything was intimidating, yet new and exciting. At lunch, we awkwardly sat with random people and tried our best to fit in as well as we could. After a few months, we became comfortable and familiar with the routine of high school. 
Friendships were beginning to form, and we were excited to call Bonner and Prendy our home for the next four years. Throughout this year, the basis for our memories were forming without us even realizing it. By sophomore year, we were just happy that we were no longer freshmen. Friendships, as well as our identity as members of the Bonner and Prenny community, grew stronger. Junior year was the year that we were finally considered upperclassmen. For many of us who are student athletes, junior year marked our first year playing varsity. For those involved in the school shows, your chances to be a lead increased greatly. We were excited about the numerous events taking place this year, including junior prom. Big decisions, such as what would we do once we graduated, took a leading spot in our minds. Most importantly, however, it was the year that we officially joined the brother and sisterhood. At the girls' ring mass, we put our Prenny rings on for the first time, with Mary facing us. With excitement, we went around to our families and friends, asking them to turn our ring and saving the 20th turn for someone special. Later that night, we got to attend our ring dance, further strengthening our new bond. On September 6, 2019, we woke up for our last first day of high school. We were optimistic about what our senior year would offer, and we couldn't wait to experience it with the friends that we had made over the last three years. It was finally our turn to experience the senior traditions that we had watched the previous senior classes do, such as senior sunrise, dodgeball, assassin, retreat, prom, baccalaureate, and of course, graduation. However, on March 13th, we unknowingly walked the halls of Bonner and Prendy for the last time, only completing half of the events I had previously listed. Just like that, our senior year was over. No senior night for the spring sports or one last spring show for those involved with the arts. The sudden change in events from seeing our friends and teachers five days a week to sitting in our rooms doing schoolwork online was a huge adjustment. Not only did we feel like we were missing out on the best months of high school, we also looked back on the small things and felt that we had taken them for granted. Seeing one of our favorite teachers in the halls and stopping to have a genuine conversation with them or laughing with our friends over something that happened in class resonated within us that these common occurrences were actually something that we cherish deeply. To my classmates, it is easy to be upset with our circumstances. However, there is a silver lining to all of this. We now understand the value of time, the value of appreciating what we have in the moment. Insignificant things are no longer insignificant. Everything, no matter how small, has meaning behind it. We will take what we have learned from this unique experience with us as we enter the world, using it to help us to easily adapt to change. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to thank our parents for the sacrifices they have made to send us to a Catholic high school. Your support and encouragement have allowed us to succeed, and without you, we would not be here today. To our friends, we could not have made it through high school without you. When we look back at these years, we will laugh with tears in our eyes as we, rem as we reminisce about everything that we did together. Our friendships made at this school will truly last a lifetime. To the faculty, thank you for providing a safe learning environment for us. You showed us how to succeed while preparing us for the future. The bonds built are not confined to the classroom. They exceed our school community. Attending Bonner and Prendy has been a blessing. We have not only learned about God, but we have learned to follow in his footsteps. Events such as Feed My Starving Children have taught us how to be selfless and caring towards the less fortunate. Monthly mass and daily prayer have allowed us to grow in our faith and to take what we have learned and share it with the rest of the world. We, the class of 2020, have a lot to offer as we enter the next chapter of our lives. And although change is hard, we have already shown that with the help of God, we can handle anything that comes our way. Remember to value every moment with joy and enthusiasm, and be sure to know that every moment becomes a memory.
83 members of the graduating class reported their receipt of awards and scholarships with the total dollar amount over four years of $19,593,078. These awards were reported to the guidance department as of May 29, 2020. Congratulations to the students who have been awarded scholarships so far. We are proud of you. Julie Hope Ash. Madeline E. Beatty. Timothy Concepcion Acampado. Chilekasi Adeli. Cassidy Elizabeth Beal. Cheyenne Bilbro. Tyrin Amos. Andrew Beard. Briella Black. Maggie Isabel Lemmings. Joseph Patrick Beaver. Joseph M. Bickle. Angelina Rose Brooks. Jabria Brown Williams. John Black. Thomas Bradley. Sydney Marie Cahill. Ashley Marie Cannon. Hamid Amir Brooks. Joshua M. Bryan. Julie Sophia Cavalier. Genevieve M. Champaya. Kevin J. Burke. Russell Raymond Cadigan II. Mara N. Clay. Isabella R. Dalton. Bakari Divine Cobbs. Alan Jordan Cooper. Pooja Rani Das. Shania D. Davis. Yamar Cox Mason. Charles R. Cronmiller. Emily C. Dawson. Elizabeth DeStefano. John P. Crumshow III. Daniel T. Donahue. Gianna E. D'Angelo. Lillian Dahancrick. Daniel J. Dockerty. Matthew Joseph Dwyer. Rachel Ann Dubay. Shania M. DuBose. Connor T. Egan. Ian J. Edwards. Kelly Faith Eisenhart. Emily Ann Ellis. Robert Ellis. Daly Elizabeth Ewing. Lindsay K. Fagan. Jun G. Fang. Mia Danielle Falcone. Maeve Elizabeth Finnegan. Alan Farrow Jr. Elijah James Fielder. Megan Fleming. Sydney Marie Floyd. Justin Fitzpatrick. Nathan Furman. Wasi M. Fofana. Carolyn Anna Ford. John Gaines. Dylan Gary. Sierra Gabrielle Ford. Amanda T. Fury. Shamar Green. Jake Hall. Madison Grace Gambetta. Jayla Michelle Gary. Shane Hample. Miles Holman. 
Della Maureen George. Mary Tamaru Gurma. Alexis K. Gleason. Charles L. Ingram III. Ian Jabate. Casey Marie Habick. Carrie Eileen Habick. A. Christian Johnson. Anthony Jordan. Milan Darnay Hall. Star D. Hargraves. Andrew Kaser. Ibrahim P. Kamara Jr. Catherine Sarah Hausner. Kaya Sana Holland. Zachary Kelly. Nicholas Knott. Haley Christine Horan. Madison Elizabeth Kane. Walter Paul Coco. Jason Ladley. Samantha Jean Kilson. Alexa Christine Lamoth. Stephen Maiden Jr. Joseph Manfrey. Marissa M. Lewis. Shauna Elsina LaSaint. Gregory Marvel Arkellian. Samuel Michael Maselli. Ernsalyn Sheena Lewin. Simran Carr Mann. Frank Massey. Justin Masterson. Milan Marshall. Amani Martin. Colin McCarty. Joseph McCormick. Claire Peyton McBlain. Brianna Joyce McCauley. James McDonnell. Ryan McGonagall. Caitlin Elizabeth McKenzie. Cecilia J. McNally. Evan McPoyle. Jared Miller. Juana Fernandez. Emma McGill. Devante Monk. Robert Joseph Moore. Caitlin Shea Monahan. Trinity Eleonora Moret. William Non. Jared Nesbitt. Sylvina Numanyana Morris. Molly Marie Muldoon. Anthony Nicoy. Timothy O'Brien. Molly G. Murtha. Karina Olak. Jinpo Chris Park. Matthew Pfeiffer. Ava Grace W. Oranzi. Khan K. Pham. Aryan Hassoun Ravenel. Donovan Rodriguez. Alexis Marie Picon. Jasmine Brianna Powell. Justin Rue. Kobe Ruley. Julia Ann Rufo. Rayana C. Russell. Adrian McCom Silverio. Daniel J. Smith. Margaret Sarah Salter. 
Elise C. Schumacher. Hayden Smith. Tamaj Jamal Earl Smith. Arlene Sikara. Ashanti Anise Smalls. Michael Standen. Edward Sullivan. Grace Smith. Sahira Nicole Smith. Mark Tetty. David Tobin. Ashaya Brianna Sandra Spencer. Marin Elizabeth Steinrock. Marina Sunny. Oscar Uduma. Haja Khadija Kamara Thali. Amanda Trigg. Tyrese Watson. Yanni Turner. Kashmir E. Ture. Richard White. Caitlin R. Wagner. Jasmine L. Williams. Gavin Woodward. Talia K. Williams. Parents, family, friends, faculty and staff, and most importantly, the class of 2020, welcome to your graduation day. Resiliency, determination, and courage. These are three words that come to mind when I think of the class of 2020. These are the characteristics that have been inside each and every one of you, and today just shines a light on how strong you truly are. But as you move on to your next stage in life, I do have one more quiz for each and every one of you. Is this jar full? But I ask you once again, is this jar full? And one final time now, is this jar full? The answer to all three questions is and always will be, yes. It was full from the beginning. When you look at that vase and it represents your life, looking at it with the big rocks in first, always remember to put the big rocks in first. These big rocks are your family, your faith, your health, your education. And our situation right now has highlighted how important these big rocks are in our lives. Having these things makes a very full life. But the other rocks, the smaller rocks, and the sand also add to each and every one of our lives. There are experiences, our trips, our family, our friends, and all the other special moments that are involved in our life. But always remember to put the big rocks first. If we filled up the jar with the sand and the small rocks before we ever put the big rocks, we wouldn't have room for the bigger rocks in our lives. And these are the rocks that are gonna save us and help us in our next steps in our life. Whether we go into college, in the workforce, or whatever journey we may take, it's our big rocks that we need now, today, and tomorrow. They will always help us through our journey. And one of those rocks, always remember, is your second home, that big rock that is Bonner and Prendy. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are very proud of you and good luck. As the Director of Campus Ministry of Monsignor Bonner and Archbishop Prendergast Catholic High School, it gives me great joy to send forth these young men and women as graduates of our fine school. In the Eucharist we celebrated this week, we are reminded that there is more to our presence here than just a commencement exercise. You, the class of 2020, go forth as Christian young men and women 
because your education has been firmly built upon Christ. Before you are pronounced as the graduation class of 2020, I first would like your parents to join me in the Bonner and Prendy commissioning ceremony. For we send you forth to continue the good work God has begun in you. I ask now for the graduates and their parents to please stand and place your hand on your son or daughter's shoulder. Please repeat after me. God, our Father, has called you to be his. Sons and daughters that we therefore send you forth, armed with the gift of faith, so that you may continue to build upon the kingdom of God here on earth. Jesus Christ has given you hope. We therefore pray that you will bring this hope to the world. As our youth of today and the promise of tomorrow, the Holy Spirit has entrusted you with the power to love. We send you forth to love one another and bring that love to a broken world. May God who has begun this good work in you see to its completion. I ask the class of 2020 to remain standing. The parents, please be seated. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania as the principal of Monsignor Bonner and Archbishop Prendergast Catholic High School, as the representative of the superintendent of schools of the Archdiocese of Philadelphia, I hereby declare to be graduates all those who have fulfilled the course of study required for graduation and whose name appears on the official list of graduates and grant them all the rights and privileges pertaining thereunto. Parents, please present your son or daughter with his or her diploma. And the class of 2020, you may now turn your tassel to the left. Congratulations, and now I invite Dr. Cook for his final words. Before making some final remarks, I'd like to extend a number of thank yous to some individuals and groups. First, on behalf of Bonner and Prenny Catholic High School, thank you Bishop Fitzgerald and Archbishop Perez for being part of this special day and ceremony. Next, a special shout out to our faculty, staff, and administration, past and present, who've guided you through your time here at Bonner and Prendy. And although you may not be able to see and thank them in person for some time, please take a minute or two to write them a note or send them an email thanking them. Show this group of dedicated individuals the appreciation for the many, many hours they have provided in getting you, our graduates, ready for this milestone in your life. Now, I ask that you rec we recognize the parents and guardians of our students. Graduates, there is no doubt you would not have reached this point without the guidance, faith, hope, and love that these individuals have provided for you and the sacrifices they have made. I personally thank you, parents, for your commitment to Catholic education, which I know many of you had to make many sacrifices to make happen. I also thank you for entrusting your sons and daughters to us over the last four years, and I'm hopeful that our graduates will carry on what they have learned here at Bonner and Prendy to walk in the light of Christ and make us all proud. Graduates, Take a minute and give your parent and or guardian a hug. Finally, to our graduates, the class of 2020, a special class indeed that was not able to end their final days in person as a Bonner Prenti student in our building. There is no doubt that we are experiencing an unprecedented time in our history that has prevented many, many challenges for all of you. You are resilient though. You have and will continue to accept this challenge and become stronger because of it. I look forward to welcoming you back to campus once this pa pandemic is over to congratulate you individually and celebrate as a group. In the meantime, we've heard many words of wisdom and inspiration today. Heed the advice that you've heard. The world is waiting for you. It is yours to live and make better for others. Come back and visit us. Be engaged as alumni members of your high school 
and be part of your family here at Monsignor Bonner and Archbishop Prendergast Catholic High School. One final quote of wisdom from the Dr. Seuss book, Oh, the Places You'll Go. I quote, You have the brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. My hope is you will take what you have learned here at Bonner and Prendy and put into action in making this world a better place. I wish you the best. Sincerely, thank you, and God bless. And now, it is my honor to welcome Deacon Rogers to the podium, who will conduct the final prayer. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Gracious and loving God, we ask now for your almighty hand to be upon our graduates as they and their families celebrate this tremendous accomplishment. And as they go forth through life, may they find comfort and support from knowing that they are always a member of the Bonner and Prendy family. Lord, we ask you, bless the graduates from this day on with goodness and success. Enable them to stay true to their dreams for your greater glory, to discern what is right, good, and just, and to use their gifts wisely in the service of others. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>